welcome back now this lecture is going to be quite long in this lecture first we are going to add a form that means we are going to take input from the user regarding task and then we will have a submit button so once the user submit the task we are going to save the task in our database and then fetch the latest task and add inside our table so this looks quite simple let us divide the task into two part first we need to add front end fields that would be our task and then the second would be our back end fields so let us work on that for the first part let us search about the forms let me quickly copy the first form and start making the changes here i would be adding my form at the top let me paste it here and then edit this one also let me add a break line at the end now let me remove these two divs i just need to capture my task line and also remove this small heading but at currently this is dedicated to email field let me change this one and here let me change this to add task and also i need to change this type and remove unnecessary tags add a placeholder just remove this submit to add task and this should be fine let me refresh my browser here you can see this looks fine i just need to write my task and click on add so this is the front end part i i can just remove this label actually that would be fine i hope this looks better yep so if we need to add any task all i have to do is just click here write the task and click on add task this looks fine as a front end design now i need to talk about back end which is our main important thing so here we are dealing with form so i need to create a form.py inside my app so all you have to do is just right click and click form.py now this file is really important whenever we are dealing with any form so if we are taking any input that is related to our database we can just write short codes and connect with our database the second thing is we need to edit this form tag also so first let me write some content here and then start following the next because this is going to get in sequence and we need to connect our views our form.py our urls and also our form tag so let us start with our form.py so inside our form.py the first thing you need to do is import our model as well as forms so from django import forms and from our models i just need to import my task list once that is done i need to mention a class now the class would talk about which model i am connecting that is which database i am connecting so that would be my task list the second thing is it would talk about which field i am editing so i would be editing my task field as well as my done and not done field so let me mention a class here you need to import your forms and then your model form and inside that you need to mention your meta which would contain two variables your models and your field so here you just need to mention your model that is your database and then the fields of that model so that would be my task and that done and not done so this looks fine now we have created our form.py once our form.py is created i need to shift to my view because all the data in this file is getting from view so i need to edit that and before doing anything else let me import my form.py and remember you can name it as forms.py and form.py whatever you want you just need to mention everything in a sequence so if you want forms.py just mention forms here and if it is form.py just mention form so if you want to change it to forms that would be totally fine just mention everything with the help of forms.py so let me just make it as forms and that would be perfectly fine just make sure you are using the correct name on the both side now we are at good stage to talk about our views as well as our to do list html file the first thing i need to do is i need to take this data from this particular file that is if a user visit this page enter some data click on add task 
it goes to our URL and then from URL it goes to our view and in this view we need to get that particular data. Before doing anything else let me talk about get and post method. So whenever we load any page in which we are going to get only information we have get request but whenever we are sending some data into our database from our page we are going to use post request. So we are going to load this page and when it is a get request that means we are not sending any data to database we are just loading this table. But when we have a post request that means we are sending some data that means we are adding a new task. So you have to define post request as we are sending some data into database and get request as we are just loading some data. That would be quite simple for you to understand. So here whenever I am going to load my view I need to check if it is a get request or post request. So if it is a get request that means I am just loading this data and printing out my content. But if it is a post request that means I need to get all the data which is added here and then save it into my database and then load this page. This might be quite confusing but this is going to be tricky as well as interesting. So let us edit our form. And let me add a method here just call that method as post and we also need to use the csrf token which is by django and without that any form with post request is not going to work it is a security so if you are sending data along with this form it need to be secure that is why we are going to use csrf token now this looks fine also let me add a name for my input field so i would call it as task so I can recognize my input field with this particular name. So we have done three changes our post method CSRF token and then name. Now whenever I am going to add a task click add task button it is going to connect with my view. So it would connect the same view that means it is going to connect with this particular view and here I need to check if the request is post or get. If it is a get request that means I am just refreshing this I am not adding a data but if it is a post request that means I have added some data in this particular field and I have clicked this post button that is my add task button. So here first I need to check if my request is post or get. Now if the request is post I am going to do something else we will be doing the same thing that we are currently doing. So let us see what we are going to do. If the request is post that means I need to get that content. So this content I need to get this content and store in my database. So that means I need to talk to my form because the content is connected with my form. So all I have to do is create a variable and then I need to use my form that is my task form. And here inside this task form I just need to pass my post request or none if the field is empty that would be checked by form itself. The next thing is we need to check if we are getting a valid data or not. So for that all you have to do is use if condition and with our form that is this particular form I just need to use a method called is valid. Now if this is valid I just need to save this form. If this is not valid it is going to exit automatically. So this looks fine. What I am going to do is if it is a post request I connect with my form check if the form is valid and then save it. Okay but we are not rendering or returning anything. We have saved our content but what next. So I just need to load our page. What I can do is I can redirect to our to do list page. So let me also import my redirect. I hope this works. Refresh my task. Watch my lectures, add task. Yep, that is added. I hope now you understand about this. If not, let me give you a brief. So what we have created first, we created a form class, imported everything what is required and mentioned my model on which I am going to edit and also the field on which I am going to edit. The second thing I did is with the form, I changed the method, I added a CSRF token and then gave a name to my input field. Once that is done I jump back to my view and then here check if I am going to get a post request or get. Post means I am sending a data this one was the post and get means I am receiving the data. So when the request is post that means I am sending the data. So I just check on my view. 
So if I'm getting a post request, I just need to connect with my form and then submit all the data, check if everything is valid and then save. And once everything is saved, I just need to return to my to-do list. Else if it is a get request, that means it's a normal request. So I'm just collecting all the data and printing here. That's done and I hope this was helpful. So in the next lecture, let us give a pop-up whenever we add content. So it would be nice for us to get notification. So in the next lecture, let us talk about that. And I hope this lecture was helpful. See you in the next one.